the Mac 100 FT E. I'm going to show this being connected onto a wall mounted unit. Let's go through the unboxing process and show you what you get in the box. So there's your clamping plate, there's the actual plasma quad itself, and a set of five screws. So there's bits of polystyrene underneath the actual clamping plate. They're actually spacers, so we need to break those apart and we're going to use those as part of the actual installation. And they're going to make sure I'm getting the correct gap above the actual wall mounted unit. So a little air gap, about 10 millimeters. And there's that CM105 connection that we're going to connect onto the indoor board. Take the actual unit apart, take the front top covers off there, and what we're going to do here, we're going to connect the power for the actual unit. So that's something you're going to have to source yourself because it depends on where you want to take the power from. We could take it from a separate connection or we could actually run power leads from the actual indoor unit itself, which we're going to do in this example. The only other time you may need to get into this board would be if you've got another piece of equipment that's using the CM105 connection currently on the indoor board. So there's another CM105 connection on this board here. So for example, if you're using MailCloud onto a CM105 connection on the indoor board, we're going to take the connection off there and we're going to reconnect it into here. So you've got a secondary CM105 connection on this. So once the power connection is in place, you're all live and neutral. And put the covers back on. Before installing the plasma quad, ensure there's a 100 millimeter gap after you've actually fitted the plasma quad itself. So it's worth offering it up before you actually do the install to ensure you have that 100 millimeter gap. This is for correct airflow. And now we need to take the wall mounted unit apart. So obviously having the actual installation manual to hand, service manual, we're going to take it apart as per the manual. We're doing this to allow me to get to the actual power connections. So the unit's isolated obviously before we're doing any of this work. And there we're using that spacer. And we're marking on where the actual holding positions are. And then screwing that clamp in place. And this is going to give me something to actually hook the actual plasma quad onto. There, just refitting that Wi Fi adapter. There's CM 105 being put into place. You can't put it in the wrong place, it's got color coded and it's shaped so it fits into that connection. And we're going to take the back of the actual power terminals off the board, turn it around and see you've got connections there you can actually use directly onto there or you could just as easily screw on the front depending on how you've actually made your power cable.
Then we put the connections back into place, put all the covers back into place, make sure nothing's snagging, make sure it's all going back together correctly. Tidy the wires up. And that's the installation completed.